Hopefully you can hear me. I have no idea. But I wanted to share with you guys um, my favorite uh, like hair care, skin care stuff that I use here in Ghana. And I don't want to edit. So that's why I'm doing it live. But and my eyes have been straining something fierce lately. So don't hate me because you ain't me. <laughs> Did I just say that? That is so lame. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm trying to fix my... I'm trying to fix this camera though a little bit so that I can share the stuff that I want to share. Oh no, it's not, I don't think it's working. Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. Okay, I'm trying to fix my little tripod thing and I'm trying to use this phone. Oh, connection's crazy. Can you guys see me? I don't even know. Anyway. I'm trying to make it look decent. Anyway, can y'all see me? No? Yes? I don't know. So, guys, I wanted to share with you the products that I like using, like, for skin and hair, but mainly for my hair, because I don't want to have to edit this video, so I figured I'd do a live and talk about it, because I just did a re-up on some of the products that I use, all Ghana made products. Um, you will notice one thing. I don't have any glasses on. I recently got an eye exam, and I want to keep my same frame, so they are switching out those lenses and it takes like a couple days or so to get it back. Um, I do have my broke glasses though because I see stuff coming up on the screen. I don't know who, my Nigerian life, is that you girl? <laughs> it's when y'all know my age. I'm like, that's your girl. <laughs> but I got my broke glasses right here. I'm putting them off time to time. Y'all hate it, it's gone, come on with it. Come on with it. But I just wanna share some of these products because people always like to ask me about my locks. Hey y'all, hey y'all, thank you for joining. People want to ask me about my locks, uh, what I be using, stuff like that. So I'm going to share that. If I look a little tired or whatever, it's because I've been squinting all damn day trying to do work and read. And it's hard for me because I desperately need my glasses, my real glasses. And these ones are like my backup. You know, as you can see, they broke in now. <laughs> um, but my other ones are getting getting it together anyway so i came tonight just to talk about solely talk about these products because i want y'all to know what i use on my locks and for me and i don't know if this is true for everybody but for me i can tell y'all right now um for the locks when you bleach your locks like i did mine that's why you guys see these blonde tips down here it a hundred percent damages your hair and i was bleaching for a good five years that I had my locks. So the past two, yeah, like the past two years, uh, maybe even two and a half now, because we're in 2021. So like two and a half years now, I stopped bleaching in 2018. So our 2019, something like that. So the past like two and a half years, maybe two years, definitely about two years, I stopped bleaching. So this is all of my you know natural growth, but the locks here at the top, are softer than the locks down here because my hair is damaged. And when you bleach like this, you know, your locks literally break off, you know, like they, you'll have this thinning that happens and they'll just like, like here, I had recently just pulled off the part that was thinning. It was like that much hair and I just snatched it off because it was already falling apart. And then this is what's, what's left. So I don't want to cut it off because I actually like the way the color looks. I'm just going to let it grow out. And as it grows, this damaged part that's colored will start to just literally fall off on its own. Like my locks are going to fall off my hair because this is my hair, y'all. This is my hair. But it's going to like, you know, it'll break apart in a small part that's no longer able to sustain on part of the locks will just fall off or I can just pull it off. Um, this video definitely is not for everybody because most of you, some of you are not going to be interested in all what I'm talking about. Others may be interested. My lock journey was my own, but I get questions all the time, especially from Ghanaians asking me, how did I start my locks? How do I take care of my locks? You know, and, um, you know, for me, I just be like, hey, you're not serious. Like, I started with baby twists. Literally. I wore, I wore it in my weave. <laughs> I didn't have weave. I wore it in my wigs, baby. <laughs> when I was first locking down. <laughs> and nobody even knew. And then one day I was like, oh, wig off. <laughs> and my little, my little locks was just there. You know? And I just had to be patient and let them grow. You know? Um, now, my locks could have been longer than this, but 
again, I told you I have breakage. So whenever I have breakage, what's not breaking, I wind up cutting just to make sure it's even. And I also like my, this length. So for me, letting my locks grow longer than this, I just don't know because this length is easier for me to take care of because I do my own locks. Nobody does my locks for me. So like my locks now, I washed my hair probably uh, about a month ago. And I only wash my hair like every six to eight weeks. So this is what it looks like when, you know, it starts to grow out and it's no longer that fresh twist. It'd be looking like this, right? I have super thick hair, so I don't even know if you can see my scalp. Maybe you can see my scalp now. Yeah, you can see my scalp now, right? Hopefully you don't look a big old yellow mess. <laughs> but I'm showing you that because it matters because if you're, you know, if your um, locks are healthy at the scalp, they're going to be pretty, they're going to grow pretty well. So anyway, I just want to show you guys my my stash. There is a product line here in Ghana that I love and I just re-upped on some of the products tonight and I wanted to share them with you um, because they could be helpful for you. There's a store here called Divine Organics and I know they're in West Hills Mall because that's where I get my stuff from. And there is a store and um, I know they have other branches. I think they have one in Achimoto and some of the places. I don't know. Um, but uh, guys, I'm, gonna I'm not going to lie to you. These chats go too fast when I'm using my phone. I'm using my phone so it could be clear so you can see my locks. If I use go live on my computer, it's going to be breaking up like crazy. And, you know, it's not going to be as clear. So I figured I'd try my phone. Hopefully everybody's seeing everything okay. There's a couple people on here. Okay, yeah, there's a few people on here. I see some thumbs up. The thumbs up, guys, help me to know that you're interested in the topic. And you saw see me. Don't be hating on me. Looking ghetto with my bro glasses. I can't be seeing. Hey, let me tell you something. I'm not the girl that overcharged me. This I like, why are you trying to be 80 kind of CDs for this? You got 80 kind of CDs. And she's like, what? Say 30. I said, well, damn. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> right. The item in question I was talking about. Okay. This is coconut and tea tree oil. Now, I don't use all these products at one time on my hair, but I'm showing you this because this is good for my scalp. And if I want to just kind of do a not a true wash, but kind of like spray my hair down and fluff it out and just kind of make it feel a little clean and make my scalp feel good. So I have this coconut and tea tree um, mixture and the company is called Skin Organics and this is straight out of um, Ghana. So hopefully you guys can see it. Skin Organics. I don't know if it's zooming in or what, but hopefully you can see it. What's nice is it has a spray bottle. Yeah, I think you can see the spray bottle now. Yeah. So this is a great product for locks. Now remember, what I put on my locks may not work for your natural hair, guys. And your lock journey may be different than mine because your hair texture may be different than mine. Um, so what works for me may not work for you. Um, when I'm actually locking my hair, I don't use gel. I use shea butter. I either will use straight shea butter. I have a huge tube, like a five gallon tube of shea butter. Or is it 20? I don't know, it's a big giant tube of shea butter that I have straight out of Tom Lee. I use that for everything. So, um, but I also buy a product that you literally can get right from um, uh, ShopRite, probably Malcolm, other places. It's called Shea Mix, and this is it. I love this product. This product is not even made for locks, let me tell you. This is straight out of Ghana. This is a made in Ghana product. It is not made for locks. It's just made for natural hair. And I like it because there's only like five ingredients in it. And it doesn't have any like Vaseline or what do they call that? Like mineral oil or some other weird shit. It doesn't have that. It has basically shea butter, coconut oil, um, and, and uh, Lord of Jesus. Let me see if I can see. There's only like five ingredients, but honey, you know, let me tell you, I know I can't be seen with these glasses. Okay, yes, I love the Skin Gourmet brand. I use their African black soap to cleanse my face. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, right? This brand is so off the chain. Y'all, y'all be missing out in the States. You know, they had this in the States. They be making a damn killing because it's amazing. Um, they do have some essential oil in here for smell because it does have a really good smell. And they have castor oil in here. Um... Oh, Lord, Jesus, these words are small, honey. Anyway, there's only five ingredients. I've read the ingredients on this thing a million times. But I literally use this 
at the root of my locks. So let's say I, I, I wanna take the root of my locks, like right here, like the root, and I'm just twisting the root. And I literally twist my locks just like this. This is how I twist my locks. I don't know how y'all twist y'all locks. I twist my locks like this. I just go down with a little bit of neem oil. I'm done. I mean, I use clips to keep them separated, you know, so that I can do all my hair. But that is how I literally twist my hair. I know you guys talk about, and people talk about like palm twists. You know, I tried that one shit one time. I almost pulled my whole lock out. I was like, what these hoes doing? Like, they were like, put it in the middle of your hair. It looks like this is your hair. I almost started fire. I said, Lord Jesus, this don't make no sense. All this friction, I'm gonna need my hair gonna burn up. <laughs> this fool's crazy. And so anyway, and you know, I digress. Um, I do like neem oil. So when I'm twisting my hair, before I even twist my hair, after I wash it, I use neem oil on my scalp. Like I use the neem oil, pure neem oil, to basically grease my scalp. You know how y'all used to grease your scalp with like, you know, blue magic. <laughs> I said it, blue magic, got some TCB grease. I know I'm old. <laughs> TCB, most of y'all don't even know what that is. <laughs> anyway, I use this literally to grease my entire scalp. Uh, it stinks, but neem oil, when you start putting it on your hair, it makes your hair grow fast. Like the, the rate of my hair growing right now surprises me because it's growing quite fast. So I'm just like, wow, this neem oil is something else. So I also use neem oil when I make like the the mixture with shea butter and neem oil and citronella, uh, just as a mosquito repellent, works perfectly. Um, and then that's also by the same company, Skin Gourmet. And so the next thing by Skin Gourmet is castor oil, because you know, Jamaican square by castor oil when it comes to the locks and they write, you know, it'd be working. So I actually use castor oil on my locks. And now some people be like, you shouldn't be putting oil actually on the locks itself. I don't like my hair looking dry. Sorry. I don't think that's that's cute. No. So, you know, I've been using this castor oil. Um, so that's also by the Skin Gourmet. So I, hopefully you can see it. They all have little like pumps or spray bottles. Here's the neem oil. I don't know if I showed you guys that, but I actively use that. So when I shake it too much, I'm starting to knock out the oil and I don't want to waste it. So for, for pricing, I'm not doing conversions. So you guys do the conversions. This neem oil is about 45 Ghana CDs. This coconut and tea tree oil is about 30 Ghana CDs. This is what I thought they charged me 80 for because I can't see. <laughs> um, this castor oil, also about 45 Ghana CDs. Um, actually, no, I'm sorry. Castor oil was 25 Ghana CDs. And then I got some, so this is gonna be my first time trying this because I typically use straight black soap. I normally don't use this peppermint black soap. Uh, there's another Made in Ghana product that I probably should have gotten out of my shower. It literally is a shower gel, not a shower gel. It's like, um, it's meant to take showers with. It's like a gooey sub substance, substance. It almost feels like to me like, um, uh, it feels like the slime, the Nickelodeon slime. <laughs> Nickelodeon channel used to have slime kids to play with and it feels like that. And you just scoop it out, it's pure black soap, but they made it in gel form. It works well uh, and it's super cheap. That, that is only, it's like in a white jar and it's like six Ghana CDs, 10 Ghana CDs. But the peppermint black soap, I keep hearing good things about it. So this one I'm trying for the first time. And this is also by Skin Gourmet. And the reason why I feel comfortable trying it is because I like this brand. The products I've gotten from this brand have been 100% organic and on point. Um, yeah. Uh, so this also says it has wild northern honey. So I'm going to see what it does to my locks. Now, this might not like my locks because it got a little extra stuff in it. I like my black soap just with black soap, period or if the black soap has a little bit of shea butter in it, that's it. But we'll see how this works. I'm gonna try it out, but I'm almost pretty confident that it's gonna be good, but I haven't smelled it yet. Let me see. Ooh, the quality is good on my video? Yes. Honey, this video, ooh, ooh, shoo, ooh. 
That smells delicious. Let me tell you something, honey. I put this in my hair. I'll be so, I'll be like, girl, you better buy it. Get out of my way, girl. What? <laughs> I'm smelling good. I'm smelling like eat me up. <laughs> oh, that smells nice. It's probably the peppermint, though, that makes it smell good. Anyway, so those are my hair products that I really like, that I use on my locks. Um, you know, you guys ask me about stuff on my locks. The last thing is that uh, I also use a mixture in between um, like washings. Remember I say I wash my hair six to eight weeks. I wash my hair every six to eight weeks. I do not wash my hair every week. I'm not a white woman. I do not wash my hair monthly because that's over washing. But I have a thing about my locks stinking and I, I have a thing about hygiene. So I'm going to wash my locks every four to six weeks thank you so much for my super chat oh lord jesus can't you see your name is it williams thank you my dear thank you so much i see i'm late i party i be tardy to the party trying to get these broke glasses on but these broke glasses help me see a little bit oh yeah oh yeah i see it ah oh, caddy thank you so much i appreciate it oh no oh no oh no let me see Found your channel by accident. I'm grateful for the content. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And really cool. relocating to Tanzania. Awesome. I hope you love Tanzania and, you know, create a channel or keep me updated on your uh, repatriation. Thanks, guys. So for you guys for watching, you guys that are interested in this topic. You know, I didn't think more, most people would be interested, but I do get a lot of questions sometimes offline or sometimes in my email and a lot of time in different comments about my hair. So I think that when it comes to our hair, ladies, even gentlemen, like my son started growing his locks as soon as I started growing mine. So he was at the time, he was 15. He was going, he was a sophomore in high school. He was in the middle of his sophomore year and I started growing locks. And I don't know if he wanted to grow locks the whole time and just what, didn't know what I would do or didn't know what people would say. But I was like, who cares what they say? I don't care anymore. I'm not I'm done wearing these weaves. I'm done wearing these wigs. I'm done having you as a boy and my daughter as a girl confused about what I really look like without wigs or weaves because you're so used to me seeing it. No, you have to see me and my natural hair, my natural beauty so you can appreciate your own. Next thing I knew, he started growing locks. And when he started growing locks, sprouted like rain, okay? Like his locks sprouted, grew so fast. So, you know, he real jazzy with his locks. Now, he didn't color his locks, so he has no damage to his hair. Remember, guys, if you actually use bleach, the problem is if you're using bleach or, like, hair care, I think, dye is what it is, like, things that are permanent, it really messes up and damages your hair, uh, which is true, I guess, if you have, like, permed hair. You know what I mean? Like, it will mess. Even if you have natural hair, it can mess up the texture of your hair. Um, at the same time, no, I do think it looks cute, though. I do like it, though. But I know you can get like henna and different other colors. So I'm going to be out, be looking out here in Ghana to see what I can find color wise to see if I can do a more natural, um, not permanent type of color that's not going to damage my hair and, and see what's going to happen. It definitely won't be blonde. It'll probably be like a reddish color or something, maybe a brown, you know, but we'll see, you know, because my hair is black. Um, so so that's that's what it's, what it's going to do. Um, but yeah, so that is my, my lock story. Um, hopefully some of you are interested. Hopefully some of you find it helpful. And then, you know, that way people don't have to keep asking me the same thing. Oh, and yes, my hair grows like this. My hair grows in layers. Um, it is weird. It's always been weird. Even when I was permanent, it would grow in layers. And it's kind of like annoying because everybody else's hair seems to grow evenly and mine grew in layers. But I also have different textures of my hair. So it's just, it just works out like that. Um, but because I just went to the store and brought my products, I was like, let me go ahead and share that one thing I've been wanting to share. There's another product though that I really like here. And the first time I got this product was at the airport, quote unquote airport in Ghana when I was my first time coming to Ghana and I was going back to Germany. And this was at the airport and set, so I bought it. And there was another black guy there um, who was like looking with his kids and he was looking for this particular product. And I was like, do you like it? He's like, oh, I get it every time I get to Ghana. You get a set, see how you like it. And I was like, okay, I'll get the set. And of course it was way expensive at the airport, but you can get this whole thing at, um, 
uh, the game. You can get it at the game. So I believe it's called Tama, and it's a lavender-based shea butter moisturizer. So it's basically lotion for your skin. Smells divine. It is. I like to smell lavender, so it is a beautiful, delicious smell. Um, and it's uh, it's soft, so they like they prep it you know what i mean like they prepare it in a way so that it's nice and soft not like the regular well not like pure shea butter it's fluffier softer um has a great smell and it just you know goes on very smooth lasts all day if you ashy baby this will work for you okay you need to put this on your little ashy ass kids running around too and your man's ashy nasty ass feet because you know the heels of his feet look disgusting you better tell him to moisturize okay you can tell them all the time and they'll do it by themselves <laughs> And that's the truth. So yeah, it's called scented. It's called scented unrefined shea butter. It's fantastic. Hey y'all, hey y'all, welcome you guys. I love it. Oh, I saw somebody said they just shaved their hair off. Honey, the big chop ain't no joke. The big chop ain't no joke, okay? I've done it twice <laughs> in my life. Um, you know, one by default because half my hair fell out when I tried to color and perm. Lord Jesus knows. So, you know, my daughter I was going to die. The family had to come over and help me out, you know, lay hands on me. So I didn't think I was going to drop dead. <laughs> and then another time I was just like, I'm sick of everything. Cut it off. You know, so I just shh, cut it off and started all over. But guys, drop the wigs, drop the weave. You don't need it, ladies. I'm telling you, you don't need it. Men love this hair. Okay, the one thing I know they love profoundly about me is my hair, especially my guy, you know. So it's like, why not wear your natural hair, ladies? And what's funny is a lot of men most time aren't going to tell you straight out that they love your natural hair. It'll take them a while, but then they'll tell you how they really feel about your natural hair. And when they talk to you about your natural hair, you would be like, oh my well, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know, it makes you feel good, you know, hearing from a black man, seeing the pride he has in you, having your natural, nappy, beautiful, kinky ass hair. Okay? You gotta love that hair. That hair. Okay? Now, I don't even know if I can see anything on here because I did this live purposely on my, my, um, my new phone which is my new little gadget because the quality is off the chain and just to let y'all know this is a phone that they sell in ghana straight out of china but guess who's the main manufacturer well, say it so <laughs> say it ones make y'all galaxy <laughs> you know what i'm saying but it's hella cheaper hella cheaper so if people tell you you can't find good phones here in ghana you got to get your phones from the outside you better bring your phones with you you don't need to do that. You can bring your American phone with you so you can still have your American number or your American WhatsApp and then buy you a Ghana phone when you're here because you get hella good quality. If you didn't know, now you know. You heard me. Okay, so now let me see. Oh, honey, I don't even know how to work this thing. Okay. All right. I'm trying to see if I can see the... Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, okay. Live chats. Uh, all messages are visible. What is hell is happening? I don't even see nothing visible. Uh oh. Wait a minute now. Some pop up. Okay, so I'm trying to see your chats. I see something just popped up on the on the on the screen. Okay. All right. Wait a minute. Oh 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 shit. Yeah, I'm just trying to see what people said, and I don't even know how to do it. <laughs> it's a damn shame. Oh, okay. Look, I can go down. Okay. All right. All right. All right. You know, people ain't gonna like this topic because I'm talking about real hair. You know, you know, people don't like when you talk about real hair. All they want to hear is you, you know, popping off of somebody or, you know, something that they're interested in or they want to hear you bashing. But when you talk about your real natural, nappy natural, I remember before I'd be like, don't you be calling my hair nappy? My hair ain't nappy. It's just curly. Yeah, it's curly. But I'm proud to be nappy, baby, because if I wasn't nappy, I could not have these luscious locks. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> these locks are luscious, honey. Yes. Okay. Just, just in case you didn't know. All right. So let me go back. Let me, let me, let me go back. Oh, oh, well, there's a little green. What is this? Is that green or blue? Oh, a little blue button. I can't see nothing, y'all. Those glasses. I know my eyeballs probably look hella crazy, but. <laughs> 
I was just trying to see, you know, on this little ass phone. Okay, these these messages. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you color your hair, you better get ready for that damage because it's coming. Our hair does not like all that extra. Yeah, so I realized that there's one of my service providers that I use for internet. It will be straight up good, but I just have to have enough uh, credit or unlimited credit at the time when I do a live for that. And then also I'm using my new device, which has a high, super high, fantastic quality camera. Fuck. Did I go off? Oh Lord. Y'all still there? <laughs> I really don't know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Okay. Well, maybe I'm still on. Maybe you can hear me. Okay. Thank God. Okay. I was trying to look at the lives. All of a sudden, text messages start coming up and I hit it and it just came up and threw everything off. So, all right. Now I know how that works. All right. You know, just be careful. You know, but guys, I really, I just wanted to do a quick live just to talk about these products let you know about this amazing brand called Skin Gourmet. So when you come, buy some of it, take it back, and so that we can get this brand on the map. Because this Skin Gourmet is the business, and I love their packaging. It's simple, it's elegant. It tells you on the back exactly what's in everything, where it's made, just everything you need is like right there. And then the setup they have in the store, dang, that's what I should've took a picture of it. The setup they have in the store is like they brought their own little display case and the display case is made from like, I think it's bamboo. Like they got the sustainable down from the packaging, from the display case. They talk about the sustainability on the labels, the packaging, everything, type of plastic. They have a whole little booklet for each product if you wanted to get it and, and then they sell other stuff like they don't sell just oils and things like that they sell like the actual bar soaps and scrubs and all this other stuff but for me the main thing is i need to find a proper routine here in ghana for my locks um so now i have everything i need um and i don't know if i mentioned but when i want to um so i feel like Part of my locks are a little bit tough, a little bit like hard, a little bit. And then that's the part that's where the color is. So, you know, I, I'm using rose water and vitamin E and just kind of spraying it on the locks, not to saturate them, but just a bit rubbing it in and just, just going about my day. Um, and over time it should soften it, but you know, I'll let you guys know in a couple months how it feels, you know, if it, if it, if it feels softer after that. Don't get me wrong, my locks aren't hard. But you know, you know how you know your hair, right? And if you know, because I've had my locks since 2013, I know what my locks should feel like. Um, and so I know what they're, you know, capable of. Um, so um, that should help as well. And that this isn't the rose water where you try to put roses in water and make your own rose water. No, this is like, this is literally like that rose water that you're getting from one of these um, Arab countries, because that's what they do. The rose water is their thing, like they be drinking it. And it's really good though for your skin and your hair. Um, at one point I was literally washing my face with rose water when I was in my thirties. It worked. <laughs> I spent several years washing my face with rose water. Um, yeah, so uh, uh, it, it, does a, it does a good thing. Um, so guys, I hope, hopefully some of you guys found that you know helpful. I didn't wanna be on here long. I just wanted to share these products with you, trying to make sure that I share with you those things that I really enjoy about um, being in Ghana, especially products made in Ghana. I would love for Ghanaians to see the products they're made, they make as superior to those coming from abroad because they are. All these products I showed you are 100% superior than anything they have on the shelf in the U.S., and everything they have on the shelf in the U.S. gets exported to the U.K., Europe, whatever, Canada, all those other places. These products are 100% superior. And it's simply because these, um, the raw materials are from this area, from this country, from the regions here. And they're produced here, packaged here, made here. So that finished product is phenomenal when you get it 
right here from Ghana. And that's the same for when they're making purses, when they're making shoes, when they're making bags, when they're making clothes. These products in Ghana are the best of breed. And I should know because I've spent a shit ton of money on products, especially hair products. And I'm a black woman and you know how much we spend on stuff. And I've spent thousands just on hair care products, skin products, you know, it's just what we do, you know? So I know every last product that's on the shelf, you know, and there's probably new ones now, but I don't care because they're still not going to be as good as these ones. And they don't have all that extra, extra nonsense in there to break your hair off, you know, stuff that white people use. If you got white people hair, then you need to use white people shit. But if you got black people hair, you know, you got that kinky hair. And for you hood folks down in the States, you know you got that straight off the boat nigga hair. You better be using some products that your hair can take. And it don't matter up because honey, let me tell you, I've used products before, shampoos that matted my hair by locks up. I literally had to cut locks off because I couldn't unmat them because I used these products that had like alcohol in it and what is it mineral oil in it and all kind of craziness that just destroyed my hair um so you live and you learn with products but i'm telling y'all these products in ghana are pure 100 percent off the chain quality and they need to be put truly on the on a map at an international level so people have the opportunity to use them because black folks y'all would love these freaking products not just the skin gourmet there are other products too and this shea mixture who i still don't even know who makes it but i know it's called this shea mixture is a fantastic thing honey it lay your edges down but as soon as you get out in that heat the edges ain't laying flat no more <laughs> because it's 100 percent organic and natural it doesn't have like gel or other weird stuff in it and I'm not putting gel in my locks, so that's not going to happen. I've made those mistakes. Um, I think it's called hot fro. Sometimes I wonder if this is made in Ghana. This might, I wonder if this might be French and I just got this confused. I don't know. It's still a good product. Is this one. Is this one. Because um, I can't even tell right now if it's made in Ghana. But still, regardless... I hope this helps someone in their lock journey or in their journey towards natural hair and their interest in wanting to have natural hair. Um, hopefully you guys learned something from me. Y'all know I be saying crazy stuff. <laughs> what it do, what a lady, what it do. Regis, welcome. Chrissy B, welcome. I appreciate all y'all. Just so y'all didn't know, let me let me say this one more again. Let me say this one more again for y'all that missed it. Y'all that missed it. Y'all, especially if y'all come to Ghana, y'all gonna have some ashy ass feet. Now y'all be thinking, oh, I could be so cute in my flip flops. You let that red sand hit you and that dirt and that dust, baby. Them feet's going, them, them, them heels of your feet gonna get crusted. Crusted white, nasty, crusted thick. You need to be putting on some shea butter, baby. Some shea, straight shea butter or some of this Tama. This Tama, girl. Not only is it good for your skin, but it be working wonders on them feet. I don't know what y'all be using some Dr. Scholl's, some other weird ass white people shit. Y'all need to wear some, use some straight up organic shea butter. It smell good. Just saying. And get your man some too because his feet be nasty. And they don't got to use lavender. They got like another flavor or I shouldn't say flavor, but a scent that's like more masculine. This though, smells like flowers. It smells so good. <laughs> anyway, guys, it is Friday evening. I really don't have anything else to talk about. And I honestly can't see the chats. So it's hard for me to engage and I'm on my phone, but I wanted to do this tonight so that you guys could be able to um, see clearly these amazing products and get excited about it and maybe buy some of these products and take them back with you to the States when you come for your visit because I hope you guys are coming. Uh, <laughs> right. Love you sis on lunch break. Gotta get back. Simo 27. Simo 27 girl, did we just go out to lunch girl? Is that your name on here on, on, on the YouTube? On the YouTube universe? What it do? <laughs> um, Vince I am says you are awesome. Hey Vince I am. I'm glad you can join us all the way from the UK via kenya yeah bro i ain't forget you <laughs> thank you so much for giving the shout out 
Um, Global Green Book. Hey, girl, everyone watching and in the chat. Glad to have caught the live. Awesome. Okay, well, guys, I'm glad you guys enjoyed this quick impromptu live where I really just talked about, just talked about and am talking about these amazing high quality hair products that they have here in Ghana. And what's funny is I can bet you 99% of Ghanaians don't even know that these products work amazing on locks. This product alone is fantastic for twisting your hair just by itself. <laughs> People wouldn't even know that these products all bought here in Ghana are able to get beautiful luscious locks but of course your locks from the beginning are gonna be small, they're gonna be tiny, they're gonna be annoying, but they're gonna be your natural hair. And they will start to grow and grow and grow. So yes, y'all in Ghana, you can grow your own locks without having to go to a shop or go to someone who doesn't know anything about locks. Let me tell you something. Here's one word of advice. I used to tell girls who get weave this too. Do not get your weave done by somebody that got jacked up weave. Do not get your weave done by somebody who don't wear weave. How the hell are you gonna get somebody a weave if you don't even wear weave? Girl, bye. So here, let me tell you this real talk. Don't get your locks done by somebody who don't got real locks. Not these fake ass, weird ass pretend locks that people be running around here with yarn and shit about to blow up, looking like motherfucking Raggedy Ann dolls and shit. No. I ain't talking about that fake diggity do. I want to be cool. Let me be a musician. Put locks in my hair so I can be like swinging my hair around because I just want to be, ooh, I want to be tough. Ah, get your life. <laughs> get your life. <laughs> right? When you get locks, when you grow locks, this becomes more than just hair. This is your crown. This is your jewel. This is who you are. This is who we are as a people, what we rest, represent. You know what I mean? And how you feel about your blackness. I am not a Rastafarian. Rastafarian? That's not me. Many other people are. I respect it, 100. But I'm not. I grow my hair for my own personal reasons because I am a black woman. I am an African woman. I am a woman from the continent. I am descendant from Africans, and you're going to know that the moment I step in the room. Not only by the shape of my body and all the curves that I have, the blackness of my beautiful melanated skin, but you're gonna know it from this hair that I have that I do not hide for no one or pretend like something's wrong with it because we are in a professional environment. No, baby, you're gonna know my blackness from the moment you see me. So that's the beauty about having your locks. So yes, you can get your locks here in Ghana and you can grow them yourself. Yes, you can find the products you need in Ghana and do your hair yourself. Because I would never, ever, 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 go to somebody to touch my locks. And you don't even got no locks yourself. You be touching my locks like, oh, is it real? If it isn't real. Because they ask you that here. No. But I appreciate y'all be trying to share stuff with me. And I just be like, oh, they do locks? Okay. <laughs> if they not a real Jamaican that comes straight out of Jamaica, they got locks themselves, I don't want them touching my hair. And I mean no disrespect, but I haven't met a Ghanaian yet with real locks. That's just me. <laughs> I see the young boys running around with their little free form locks, but I'm still not quite sure because so many of them have the fake hair intertwined with real hair. I can't tell what's what. So I'm all about the real locks, guys. So you can find what you need right here in Africa to take care of your natural hair and to take care of your locked hair. You just have to keep going through the journey and find what works best for your hair type because we are all different when it comes to our hair. So yes, I went on a tangent about products made in Ghana about the beauty of having locks, about the beauty of having natural hair, about appreciating yourself as a black woman, as a black man. Yeah, I went in. All right, guys, I really hope that you um, enjoyed this short impromptu. Let's talk about Ghana's amazing products because they are fantastic moment that I had. 
Um, I'm just looking, you'll see my hand going because I'm using the, this phone right now. To see who's okay. Everybody like they in agreement. All right now. <laughs> um, right, you're right. Not all Rasta folks have luck. Exactly. You know for real though. But I tell you, when you get here, they just be like, Rasta, Rasta, Rasta. You just be like, what is happening? <laughs> um I do know there's so many more women though embracing their natural hair again here in Africa and that's a beautiful thing. It just be nice when they get that more mainstream from people who are on TV news stuff like that because they have the most influence and these you know little social media people. Um, but anyway guys, thank you guys so much for spending your Friday night with me. It was a short beautiful 40 45 minutes. I hope you guys have a good night, good evening, good morning wherever you are. Um, and I'm going to rewatch this to see how clear it was. And then my locks is looking all cute and shit. Oh, yeah. Ooh, la, la. <laughs> I do like how the locks, though. It's just so much fun. Because you got long hair all the time. And then, you know, we you would be like, oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> and it's just you flipping your own hair, right? You just be like, oh, this is just me. All right, guys, I'm, I'm going to go make my, my food now. Bye. Have a good evening. And now I have to figure out how to turn this thing off. Good night, people. <laughs> Where is it at? Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, okay. I think that's how you stop.